Good morning, YouTube. Today we're gonna make lemon balm syrup. I actually got this recipe from Roots and Refuge. I've been making it for probably a year now. I really love it. I usually freeze it into little ice cube trays. Sometimes I sprinkle little flowers in there and then I love to put it in my tea in the morning. I try to drink tea during the week instead of coffee. Sometimes it happens and sometimes it doesn't, but I love the lemon balm. It gives it a great flavor, and it also helps with anxiety, so I feel like it helps combat the anxiety that I sometimes get from caffeine. So I am gonna make up a batch of lemon balm syrup today. First, we're gonna go harvest our lemon balm. I have some in the front yard and some in the back, so I'll probably snatch some from both. It's really hot outside. Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Oh wow, it's not as hot as I imagined. Okay, so it's not as hot as I thought it was. It is very humid though because it has been raining quite a bit. And I'm gonna try to harvest these as quick as possible because once I start sweating, then I just don't stop. So I'm gonna go harvest this lemon balm really quick and then we'll come back in and we'll make our syrup. to give them a little rinse. I feel like the step is optional, but I have a mealybug issue and I would really rather not have that in my syrup. So I'm gonna give them a little rinse and then I'm probably gonna strip all the leaves off of the stems because that's just kind of how I like to do it. I don't think I'm following the exact recipe that Roots and Refuge does, but I've been doing it for a while. I've been making this for a while, so I kind of do it my own way a little bit and I incorporate my knowledge of herbs. I studied herbal for a really long time so I just do it how I see fit and uh, yeah so I have a lot of lemon balm here I'm gonna get to rinsing it so we can get into syrup making <laughs> If you don't know what a mealy bug is, this is what it looks like. It's a little white fuzzy looking thing. They're really gross, they're really hard to get rid of and they get everywhere. They're so annoying. All right, I actually boiled some water. I really don't want, I don't want to risk getting mealy bugs in my house, on my plants in my house. So I'm going to just pour hot water around the sink and on the basket just in case there are any mealybugs hanging out trying to get on all my stuff. All right, what I'm gonna do now is take all the leaves off the stems. I'm just gonna set them on this towel and then I'm gonna dump them into a pot. The easiest way I found to take the leaves off the stem is you grab the very tip of it with one hand. There are a few leaves on the tip. You grab it right there. It's really fragile on that end, so you have to grab it like that. And then you can rip the leaves off the thicker, more stable part of the stem. And then on this side, instead of doing the same thing, I just take my fingers and pinch the leaves off the end like that. So we'll do that one more time. I'll grab the very tip rip the leaves off the stem, come around to this side, and just pinch the leaves off the end. And I'm going to compost the stems. And it doesn't have to be perfect because the leaves will be boiled and taken out of the syrup, so it's okay if there's a little bit of stem in there. I just don't want the bulk, bulkiness of the stems. It helps to cook it down, oh gosh. It helps to cook it down when there's just leaves in there. So 
So I have all my leaves here. I'm gonna dump them in my pan. It's almost to the top. So it's pretty full. I'm gonna push it down just a little bit. And then I'm going to fill this pan with water. So that pushed them down a little bit. I'm gonna fill it up just to the surface of the leaves, like so. I'm going to cover it partially. This helps to keep the essential oils in. I'm going to bring it to a boil and then I'm going to lower the heat a little bit and let it simmer for 30 minutes. So it's come to a boil. I have reduced the heat. I'm just gonna give it a little stir, make sure everything is submerged, and set a timer for 30 minutes. And I'm going to make sure it's partially covered. So we'll be back in 30 minutes to see how it is. It's actually been about an hour. I wanted it to simmer down just a little bit. This is what it looks like now. The leaves have kind of browned a little bit, but the syrup has taken on, or the liquid has taken on some color. So I'm gonna go ahead and strain it. It would probably be easier to use a colander, but this is just the way that I'm doing it. And I'm just like pressing the leaves to get all the juice out. Watch out for the steam. It is hot. You want to get as much as the as much of the good stuff as possible. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in my little compost pile and compost this. According to this, we have about four and a quarter cups. I'm gonna reduce it down to about two to three, I think. So we're just gonna pour it back in here and turn it back to a simmer and just let it simmer for a bit. I'm going to cover it a little bit as well. We'll come back in like 30 minutes and see if it's reduced any. All right, it is much later in the day. I let my lemon balm tea uh, reduce down. It is now at about, it's at about two cups, so I reduced it down by about half. You add half as much syrup as you have tea. So I have two cups of tea. I'm gonna add one cup of syrup. I mean honey. I have this local honey. Is it even local? Is this local? Okay, yeah, this is local. So I buy this at my local grocery store. And I like it because it comes in a huge jar. I go through a lot of honey. So I'm just gonna add this till it gets to about three cups. Mmm, honey is so good. It's cool now, so I'm not really sure how well this is gonna mix. Mm, it's mixing. It's taking a little, a little bit, but it'll get there. I'm gonna go grab an ice cube tray and then I'm gonna store the rest in a jar. This is an old honey jar. But let me get an ice cube tray. Okay, I just put it into a basic ice cube tray. I freeze it, it'll probably be ready in the morning. It doesn't freeze completely, actually. It sometimes is a little sticky, and I will show you that, but it works. And like I said, I love to put it in my teas in the morning. I drink jasmine green tea, and I usually put like two or three ice cubes in it, and it tastes delicious. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pour it into my ice cube tray. I feel like I let mine simmer probably a bit too long, which is why the color is so dark, but that is okay. The rest is gonna go in this jar. I will probably freeze this. I like to make a lot in the summer so that I can stock up and have it for winter when all of my lemon balm is frozen. So this will go in the fridge with the loose lid so it doesn't explode, and then I will tighten the lid later on. And this is also going in the freezer. It is the next day. I actually already made my tea and I totally forgot about the lemon balm syrup. So I didn't use it, but I did want to show you guys what it looks like frozen in the cubes. It's a little bubbly from me mixing it. They're kind of soft and sometimes they get a little mushy towards the bottom. I think it's the honey that settles. So you kind of have to get a knife and scrape it out of there, but mmm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Super yummy. I can't wait to use these. Yay!
I am going to go do some work in the garden, work on this mulching project that I've gotten myself into. But I hope y'all try this recipe. I hope it tastes as delicious for you as it does for me. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Enjoy!